Yo, what's going on, YouTube? I'm here with one of the most anticipated videos that y'all have been begging me for. And by now, you know that that is the Zion Williamson build. As we all know, Zion is one of the greatest young talents in the NBA right now, and he is one of the most exciting players to watch in the entire sport. Even in high school, this man was dunking on anyone in the paint, catching insane lobs, and putting people on posters. So today, I'll be showing you guys a build that perfectly replicates Zion's playstyle, and overall, just be one of the most dominant builds in the entire game. Right before we get into this, please make sure to like and subscribe. I know I say this every single video, but this video, I really mean it because you could be my 10,000 subscriber. Let's also try and hit a like goal of 150 likes, so make sure to smash that like button and help us get there. But without any further ado, let's hop right into this. All right, and now that we're in the builder, the first thing you want to do is set the position to the power forward position. As we all know, Zion is actually a pretty small type of guy to play the power forward position, but he is a huge and built type of dude, so he definitely can play it well. So we're gonna set it to the power forward position, and a lot of people don't know this, but he is actually left-handed, so we're gonna set the handedness to left, but it is your build, so if you wanna set it to right, whatever your preference is. And then jersey number, he is number one, so we're gonna set it to that, but like I said, you can set it to whatever you would like. Now for the body settings, we are going to make him six foot six, his actual height in real life. That is his actual height for those of you that don't know. Like I said, he is a smaller type of, you know, power forward basically. And then his weight, we're going to set to 261 pounds. I know a lot of the builds I show are actually, you know, minimum weight for the most speed, but we are going to be going with some crazy type of strength on this build. So we're going to set that to 261 pounds. And then the wingspan is going to be seven foot three and maxed out. Now for this build, I actually made him solid. You might think you want to go with Burley and honestly, you definitely can. But I honestly think, you know, being 261 pounds, his player looks Burley enough at solid. So I put... I put him at solid just because I thought Burley was just going to be way too big. And I thought solid looked the best to me and looked the most like Zion. Now for the finishing, the big thing that he can do, as we all know, is get contact dunks. You know, dunk on anybody, you know, get some crazy dunks. So we are going to max out the driving dunk to a 90 nine and that also brings up our driving layup and close shot however we are actually not even going to touch those we are going to bring our standing dunk all the way up to a 72 but that's all we're going to touch in the finishing category bringing us up to 17 finishing badges now you can change this and get more finishing however i found that you really don't need it because mainly what you're going to be going for is contacts and since you have the driving dunk all the way up to a 99 you will be getting everything you need now, so far, we already have Hall of Fame Pulsarizer and Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff. So we will be getting literally every single contact dunk whenever you go towards the rim. And for all the people that actually watch Zion play, he does have a little bit of a three-point shot. So we are going to bring that up to a 75, our mid-range up to a 65, and then our free throw, we are going to just leave at a 50. I know it doesn't seem like much, 12 shooting badges and just a 75 three-pointer, but on this game, you can really shoot with a lower three-pointer, so you will be perfectly fine whenever you do need to shoot. Now for playmaking, he's definitely not known for his dribbling and stuff like that, but we are going to bring up his ball handle all the way up to an 80 and then max out his speed with ball to an 85. That way he's as fast as possible. And then his pass accuracy, just bring that up to a 61. That way we get 17 playmaking badges and our passes aren't too slow. Another thing he is kind of known for is his defense. So we are going to be giving some great defensive stats. His interior defense to start it off, we are going to bring up to a 70 five that way he gets the stops in the paint he is able to play a little bit of a bigger position and that way he's able to guard really anywhere on the court for the perimeter defense we're going to bring that all the way up to an 80 that way he's able to get contests and stops around the perimeter his steal we are going to bring that up to a 66 that way we do end up getting the bronze glove badge as well as bronze interceptor on this build that way you get the steals steals are super overpowered on this game so you really don't need it that high and then our block we are going to bring that up to a 70 that way you do get the anchor badge you know to be able to actually get blocks because if you really if you don't have the anchor badge you're really not going to get them and then you also get the silver chase down badge and then offensive rebound we're just going to skip over that and then bring our defensive rebound all the way up to an 85. 
And then finally for our physicals, we're going to bring the speed up to an 80. He's kind of a big guy, so we're not going to max out the speed, but 80 is perfectly fine. Trust me, you will be moving around the court and speed is really only for defense and off ball movement. So you will be perfectly fine. Like I said earlier with the 85 speed with ball, you'll be moving way faster than you ever expected to on a Zion build. And then our acceleration, we're going to max that out to an 80. So an 80 speed and an 80 acceleration. And then our strength, we are going to max that out to a 95, giving us the Hall of Fame Bully Badge. With the Hall of Fame Bully Badge, you'll be pushing anyone out of the way. Trust me, Bully Badge, even on silver, is crazy. And so Hall of Fame, it is honestly one of my favorite badges to use in this game. And then our vertical, in case you are on next gen, you are going to put that up to an 82. That way you get all of the contact dunks with our 99 driving dunk. And also it just helps with blocks and stuff like that. And then our stamina, we're going to bring that up to a 95 which means with gym rat we get all of our physical attributes up plus four giving us a 99 strength and a 99 stamina so 95 is perfectly fine and there we have it 17 12 17 and 15 is our final badge count and with all of these attributes you will be able to do everything on the court and of course we're going to pick slashing takeover and it doesn't give us too much options with takeover but our second one i'm just going to put sharp but you can go with playmaking if you want and there we have it the lob threat build it's honestly kind of a cool name but now that you guys know how to make it let me show you guys what it's like in game all right so i just wanted to show you guys what this build is actually like and honestly just how dominant it is as you can see he's sitting paint oh i don't know what that was but we taking any jumps hey come on man but as y'all know, like I said at the start of the video, Zion Williamson is one of the most dominant players in the entire, honestly, in the entire league right now. He, he's just, he's too much. Oh my, like, y'all see this, man. The, the guy I'm playing right now is probably about seven foot tall. And we easily dunking on him on basically the first play in the game without takeover, without none of that. Hold on. I don't know why he's giving me that. Hold on. Get back in the paint, man. Get back in the paint, man. Oh my gosh. Like, no, no, no. But like I said earlier, Zion actually can shoot a little bit. So uh, he's le he's just leaving me clearly wide open. So let's just see. Green bean. Green bean. Like, I, th this build can really do it all. Get back in the paint, bro. Get back in the paint, bro. Get back in the paint. Oh, my. All right. It's over. It's over. We got. We have takeover. It's over. It is over. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Bro, he's like jumping out of the animations, but every single time we run to the paint, we get a contact dunk. It's not fair at all. All right, he's leading me up. We got sharp takeover. We got, we got to just pull it, man. I, I, I like I'll, the rest of the game. I'll do contacts because that's how Zion plays. But I just want to show you guys really that this build can do it all. It can shoot. It can dunk on anyone. Like this guy's seven foot. Hey, oh my, like. It's unstoppable. This build can dribble. It gets every stop on defense. It can dunk on anybody and can shoot whenever you need to. Oh my, like it's not fair. I don't think we have missed a single contact dunk this entire game. I don't think we have. Get back in the paint for game, for game, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> 22 to zero. That's how the game goes. On this Zion build, you will be the most dominant player on any court that you step onto. I kid you not, this build can shoot. This build gets every single contact dunk, as y'all just saw. Doesn't matter how big the defender is. That guy was seven foot, probably with some crazy interior defensive stats. It can dribble, as y'all saw, and it, it it's just unstoppable. The defense, everything, everything on this build it's just it's it's not even it doesn't even feel real if y'all made it to this point i appreciate y'all so much for watching and if you haven't already make sure to like this video and leave a comment of the next video or nba player that you want to see and also don't forget to subscribe like i said earlier because you could be my 10,000 subscriber but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you make the build or even just watch let me know what you think of the build and if you would make it in the future i love y'all and appreciate you guys so much i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see y'all in the next video